Hey, good morning, Facebook friends. It is Tuesday, so of course it's my Nerdy Tuesday talk, and so I'm going to talk to you about a subject that's on my heart today um, because it's um, affecting a lot of people that I know. So um, recently I've talked to several people who are getting ready to undergo chemotherapy or who have started chemotherapy because they've had that devastating um, diagnosis of cancer. And so sometimes people um, will have their oncologist talk to them about nutrition, and sometimes they don't. And so um, that's unfortunate, And um, but sometimes the doctor just doesn't maybe un quite understand nutrition, and so maybe they're not comfortable with that. So that's where um, it comes into play, where we want to talk to people about that nutrition and how important it is, because... If you're receiving any kind of cancer treatment and you're not um, considering your nutrition, you know, you're really missing out on hot half the treatment. So food does matter. And so the key is to um, try to make sure you're getting plenty of phytonutrition into your body because when you have chemotherapy or radiation, while that treatment is um, meant to destroy the cancer and kill the cancer, it also is very harmful to other tissues in the surrounding areas where the, the chemotherapy and radiation is being targeted. So it's like a mad rush of oxidative stress onto your body. And what oxidative stress is, is damage to your cells or aging. And so it's like rapid aging, okay? And so... When you're trying to destroy that um, tumor or the cancer, you're also destroying the cells around it. And so it's really important. The only way that we offset oxidative stress is through antioxidants. And so it's really important to offset those oxidants that are going around in our body from that treatment. And so the only way we get antioxidants is through fruits and vegetables. Now, the key is, is to try to make sure that you're getting all those antioxidants without spiking your blood sugar because sugar is what cancer feeds off of. And so it's really important to have low glycemic fruits and then lots of vegetables and then foods that will help balance your blood sugar. Now, if you can find a way to flood your body with that phytonutrition and not get sugar with it, which um, I have a really nice way that we can do that, that we can put that phytonutrition in your body, um, that's winner, winner, okay? So it's just a, it's like a your body's defense system, okay? It's putting, giving your body what it needs to defend itself while also trying to help support your immune system so that when you get that chemotherapy and it help, and that chemotherapy will deplete your immune system, it'll wipe it out, then um, your body can respond in a way to make sure your immune system responds and re rebuilds afterwards, which is really important because your immune system will have to, abuse, have to rebuild to a point where you can go get your next treatment. And if that gets delayed, then your treatment gets delayed. And so that's really important because the body has to be able to withstand that awful, awful medication. Okay, and so that's where nutrition is so important. Um, and to get healthy proteins that aren't acidic, and that is where plant food comes into play. Okay, and so you want to get a complete amino acid profile, but get it through plants so that you're not putting your body in the acidic state. Okay, so um, just wanted to put that out there. The other thing that's really important is to make sure that you're getting healthy fats in your diet. Um, because like I said, cancer feeds off of sugar, and so if we're increasing our healthy fats with avocados and walnuts and flaxseed and wild salmon, not wild caught and not farm raised, but wild salmon, um, then we're going to be putting in great healthy fats, coconut oil, that kind of stuff that will help give us fat to feed off of our body because cancer cannot feed off of fat. It feeds off of sugar. It doesn't know how to feed off of fat. So you're essentially starving it out, which is really good. So if you do that on top of the treatment that your doctor is giving you, you're setting your body up for the best chance to try to kill the cancer. 
Okay, so um, anyway, just hope this message helps. It's so, so important to, um, you know, understand how nutrition can help you. Um, you know, the other thing that's really important when you're undergoing cancer treatment is your mindset. It's so important that you and your mind take are positive and that you know that you can beat the cancer and take anybody that is negative in your life out of your life. Just tell them, look, if you have negative things to say, I can't have you in my life right now because my mind has to be positive because there is research that shows that the positivity that's going on in your mind helps you heal. So um, anyway, have a great day. I hope that helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, certainly want to answer further, but uh, just putting that out there, kind of food for thought, um, no pun intended, for uh, chemo and nutrition. All right, love you guys.